as the modified reunion machines continue with their hot laps and pace laps. I want to remind you to get in on the 50-50 wrap for here tonight. Cecily is down there with pink tickets tonight. So make sure you get in on the 50-50 raffle. Hold yourself some nice money to take home with you. On the way over to Daytona or back home. I hope you a little bit of gas money. Get in on the 50-50 raffle here tonight. I got a car stopped here on the front straightaway in the 3X. With the hot black slash race session for our modified reunion participants. We appreciate those folks for coming out and spending the day with us here at New Smart. Want to get them on track time to uh, display their cars in front of the fans. We'll see some of these machines perhaps back in action for the Florida Southern Ground Pound main event. One of our semi-regular divisions here. During the regular season at the East Point Speedway, the vintage cars, they may be vintage machines, but they put on a race just like any other class, and we'll see that to close out tonight. Perfect. So this is the grandstand side for the toolbox giveaway, thanks to SP Tools. We're going to have one of our youngsters reach in and draw a ticket. We'll see who the winner that's going to be. If you're not in attendance, well, we'll contact you. If you are in attendance, then hope you have room in your trunk. Good evening, race fans. Oh, hell no. We're eight nights into this. Hey! It's been a long eight nights, but what a bunch of racing you've seen here at the beautiful New Smyrna Speedway. A lot of first. The first ASA race here, and it was a doozy. The wheel and race, it was great. We thank you, we thank all these drivers. What I want you to do now with all your enthusiasm, please thank all of these drivers for the great jobs they've done for us this week. Give them a big hand. I wanna thank our staff here at New Smyrna Speedway. 
I tell you what, this would not work without the great people that we have. We argue, we fight, we cuss, we call each other names, we do all kinds of stuff. But at the end of the day, we all love each other somewhat. <laughs> and sometimes too much. <laughs> but it's just been incredible putting on another World Series. We regret that we've lost one day of the World Series, but the racing's been great. Tomorrow's calling for a lot of rain. We've got a spe special presentation tonight from the Eagle Riders. They've been a huge supporter of our charity, the Heart to Heart Breast Cancer Foundation. And we're going to have them come up. Who's going to present tonight? Well, come on up here. And tell them who you are and what you're doing. Hello, everyone. My name is Tess Smith. I'm president of the East Coast Eagle Riders of the Fraternal Order of Eagles. We're based on Park Avenue. And one of our biggest charities for, for our organization that we do locally is for the Heart to Heart Breast Cancer Foundation. Very, very dear to my heart. And Mrs. Hart is very dear to my heart for everything that she does. Uh, we have both men and we actually had a male rider with us that had breast cancer. So we thank you for everything you do. Um, I'd like to present two checks tonight, if I may. The first check is from the Eagle Riders. It's for $1,831.92. And now I'm very proud to say that I'm also president of our auxiliary with the Fraternal Order of Eagles. And our auxiliary raised for you $2,114. Thank you, Mrs. Hart. You know, there's a lot of unsung heroes at the racetrack. A lot of people that give and give and give and never ask for anything in return. Tonight, we're turning the tables a little bit. Tess Smith, come here. Tess has been battling some health issues, and we want to present her with a check tonight for $5,000. She has given from her heart, as you've seen tonight. She always brings checks here. She's never asked us for a dime. Folks, if you would, stand up and give her a big round of applause. We're not done yet. This is another kind of different one for us. It's pretty, pretty painful when you're talking about who's soon to be a three-year-old that's fighting for her life. Anna Spence. She's the daughter of Austin and his wife, Becca. Austin, where are you at? Come here. We're presenting them with a $5,000 check to help their daughter, who turns three tomorrow, fighting leukemia. Folks, give them a big hand. Now, here's, here's the thing. We don't bring people here to embarrass them, but we want to help. And they knew nothing about this coming into the night. And I'm telling you, the two people that we've given it to tonight couldn't be more deserving. They're a wonderful people. Folks, give them a big hand and just pray for them nightly that everything works out great and we can beat all this stuff. The Heart to Heart Breast Cancer Foundation 
It's done a lot of good throughout the years. It's a very small organization. If you want to help, you can donate here. You'll see people walking around with heart-to-heart -heart uh, stickers and whatnot. Again, folks, if you would, let's all stand. Give them the encouragement, the power from above, the cure. What ails them? There they are for you, this year's recipients of the Heart to Heart Brisket. Tess, come on up. <laughs> Gary Fountain has taken this car to have meaning. That's the only reason this car exists. And I'm going to let Gary explain to you what he's doing. This is his life mission as he gets more mature. Gary, go ahead and tell him about your car. Thank you, Rusty. I appreciate that. What we're doing here is I found out um, through various avenues that there are a lot of unclaimed veterans that date all the way back to World War II and Pearl Harbor. They've never had the dignified burial that they should have. We are attempting to, and so far we're making a good headway, to locate, find, identify, and then we will take those people out to sea and give them the proper burial that they deserve according to what branch they were in, what religion they are, and we will notify their families if any are there. And we're, that's our whole goal. FMS, Final Mission Services, unclaimed, never forgotten. These people are the people that provided us the umbrella of security that we have. They paid the ultimate price. Let's give it back to them. We got somebody that'll do it and get it done. That is me. Hold me accountable. I'll do it. We have a GoFundMe page going right now. Look up Fountain, or not Fountain Motorsports, but Final Mission Services. Donate what you can. It's for a good cause. And thank you very much. Thank you, Rest. It's going to be a great night here at New Smyrna Speedway. Maybe it took a little bit longer to get this done, but it's okay because you know what? We, and when I say we, I don't mean us. All of you, us, we have made a difference tonight. And by God, if you could make a difference in anybody's life, you damn well better do it. Ryan Stevens, it's back to you. Thank you, Rusty. And folks, I hope this gives you greater meaning to the Youngsters that are walking around with the pink butterfly wings and the pink boot and me yapping about our local track charity. I hope this puts it all into perspective and I thank every, each and every one of you that's donated and now you'll probably think about donating tonight. Look at the lives that we changed tonight. We're all here to race and see these cars go in circles and to see what the next crazy thing is going to be. But just know that we have a deeper meaning here at the New Smyrna Speedway and you got to see that here tonight. So folks, can we get another round of applause for everybody and then we'll get going here with our invocation and our national anthems. And we'll welcome in now Mr. Grace Schofield, and I'll ask everybody to please rise if you're able and remove your caps. Mr. Grace Schofield from Central Florida Raceway Ministries. He's been busy bounce between here and Daytona. We appreciate his service here this week. He's going to present our invocation. And we'll have the singing of our Canadian National Anthem and the Star Spangled Banner. Gray, take it away. Thank you, Ryan, if you would join me in prayer. Father, thank you for loving us. Also, thank you for the opportunity to freely put all of our trust in you for all the phases in our life. Fathers, we run the racing program tonight in honor of Mr. Richie Evans, Lord, and for breast cancer. We just pray for safety from everybody on the track, Lord, from the fans to the officials to all the teams that you would protect us with your divine protection. Father, we thank you for our military, our mighty, mighty military, and our first responders, and thank them for all that they do to protect us, whether it be here on the land or overseas. So, Father, we praise you, we thank you, and we just ask for your blessing tonight. And it's your holy and precious honor, honor we pray. Amen. Thank you. And folks, I want to introduce our singers for today. Miss Annette Bouchard is going to sing the Canadian National Anthem. And Skylar Whitfield will follow with the Stars Buckle Banner if you'll remain standing. Annette, take it away. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. True patriot love, and all thy sons come in with broken hearts. 
but to see thee rise, the true Lord strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep us and glorious and free. Thank you so much. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er oh, the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the Rockies right clear, The bombs bursting That our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? Oh, Shard and Skylar Wayfield for singing of those national anthems. We'll let our party finish here. And then we'll let Mr. Alf make it to the back of the field and we'll quickly introduce you to our field of starters for tonight's Heart to Heart Breast Cancer 100, the finale for the Pro Lay Models. Despite some controversy here this week, it's been a good one for this driver. Picked up his first World Series win and looking to end on a high note here. Let's hear it for car number double zero, Jimmy Renfrew Jr. And now to introduce you to our front row starters. Came out last night for his first start of the World Series. Has some experience out here looking for that first World Series win. Put your hands together for your outside pole sitter, Hudson Bolger. And now to introduce you to our pole sitter for tonight's Heart to Heart Breast Cancer Foundation 100. Driving the Yahoo sponsor machine prepared by Donnie Wilson Motorsports. Let's hear it for Isabella Robusto. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have one question for you. Are you guys ready to go racing? Come on, it's the last night. You've saved your voice to this point. Let me hear you get real loud. Are you guys ready to go racing? Let's count the field down. Ready? Three, two, one. Drivers, start your engines. Action on the racetrack pointed in the right direction versus all over one another. Here they go, they form up. The Daytona Dodge American Auto pace car ready to pull away for the first time this evening. The youngster, Isabella Robusto, on the pole position with Hudson Bolger to her outside, and here they come. They hit the gas for the first time tonight. Moves down to the bottom, takes the lead. Here comes last night's winner, George Phillips. Oh, a tough start to lead, crashing out of practice. Came back, trophy hunting, looking for the big one here tonight. George, 
battling now side by side. Oh. Oh.
high seat for that group.
Jamie ran through and hunt the right. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes Joe Whale. Let's hear for George Phillips in car number eight. Congratulations. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was a great race. I was able to manage the pace really good. Um, I just want to thank God most of all. Jamie Elton and all the Fathead Racing team, my sponsors, Awesome Wimmer, Citrus Aid, the Racing Warehouse, and Simpson, and all my family for coming out. And this is a great racetrack, the World Series of Asphalt. What's uh, what's going through your mind a week ago when you're sitting here on the front straightaway with the game race car? Did you think it was all over at that point? Well, I did. No, I think Bobby White for hanging the gray motors too. They definitely put a, a power plant out of this thing. Congratulations, man! What a way to end the week. I appreciate it. Once again, this is the Heart to Heart Breast Cancer Foundation. Let's hear from the champion Hunter White as he gets the bat down here. Man, came out here this year looking for that first win. Good to get up here, man. I've been waiting to talk to you in Victory Lane for a long time. I'm glad you got that first win. I know it's not the way you wanted it, but hey, you came down here, you persevered after the crazy crash last night, and you're in the home, a champion of the World Series in the Pro Late Model Divisions. Congratulations. Yeah, it's really special. I've been coming down here the last four or five years, and uh, finally got it done this year. Uh, like you said, didn't get to win one on the racetrack, but. Uh, Un which is unfortunate, but you know, still really proud, really thankful of everybody that came down to help us. They took time away from their families and jobs to come down here and help, and uh, I'm really thankful for it. It means the world. I think for the last couple of years, a lot of people have been saying the 29 car, I think it's their year, and then something silly will happen, and then we're looking at you again, they should saying, well, it might be his year, and then last night it all goes crazy on the first lap. What's going through your mind as you're spinning down the main straightaway here? Yeah, like you said, uh, every year seems like something happens. There was a couple years where it was crashes last year, uh, a couple motors, and uh, this year we crashed, but uh, we weren't the only ones that had a little bit of bad luck. So we ran well enough to make up for it tonight, and like I say, it, it means a whole lot, and we've been coming down here, a lot of hard work, a lot of hours, but this makes it all worth it. Well, you got a hell of a team behind you. Cause I think there's a lot of teams after what happened. They would have put it on the trailer and said, well, it's not our year. But you guys didn't, and you get to step up as champion. Yeah, we worked hard. We wanted to win this championship. Thank you, fans, for coming out. You guys are awesome. Um, I just uh, can't say enough about everybody that helps us out, all of our sponsors. Can't say enough. Hunter, go celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from Hunter Wright, your champion of the Pro A Models. So we'll let the photos and the celebrations wrap up again. This is our intermission here, and we're going to get back up top side. We're going to hand things over. Mr. Ben Dodge has the yearly presentation for tonight's Richie Evans Memorial. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now. Behind the wheel of this winning race car, the Riverhead Building Supply, number 46, four wins of the Wheel and Modified Tour from New Island, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, Quick lots 
And now, meet the men in the front row. And on the outside of that front row will be car number 50, an always fast machine driving the Empower Financial Sponsor Drive. That's Jeffrey Perry. Here he comes. This gentleman is one of the hot shoes of the Wheel of Modified Tour. He hasn't had much luck. Today, he'll be starting on the pole in the Richie Evans Memorial event. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome car number 52, the Earthy Drilling Company, Musk Lighting Machine, from Oregon, New York, Tyler Ripka. Gentlemen, start your engines. perhaps for the final time for these tour modifieds, such a popular staple of the World Series. The finale, moments from the Eight down in turn number three, a final tightening of the belts, a check of the gauges. And ladies and gentlemen, to make the call for the start of the Richie Evans Memorial, the
first call for Matt Hirsch. Now, for the first time, we're going to be at 55. The well, caution flag comes out for a car that spins to the bottom of the racetrack, which was Catalano. But that wasn't the real story in this event. The real story was the leader, Matt Hirschman, came up on the lap traffic so quick and so fast, it was almost impossible. Lights are off on the safety vehicle. Here's Ryan Stevens as he brings him into turn three. Lieutenant Dodge American Auto Police Car going to pull off here once again. 45 laps to go. Your leader, Matt Hirschman, on the outside. Ryan Police, the cup star on the inside.
It is Trevor Catalano ending what would appear to be a good week of competition here with the JJ VC prepared race car. Something apparently let go or broke in the car as he went in at a ton. We've just been told our free pass car is the number nine of Bordino will be moving into his correct spot. Interesting story here as you look at timing and scoring. Matt Hirschman, remember, Hirschman started in the sixth position. To the inside of him was Eric Gale. Now, those two cars are almost turning as we are 70 laps in, approaching the three-quarter mark, almost identical times. That is an indication that those two guys aren't done yet. And then Ryan Priest, where did the number 40 start? It started in the fourth position. And then Craig Lutz, the 46, started third. There is a pattern going on here. Seventh spot is Krause. Eighth position to Bobby Williams. Ninth spot is Kozo. And tenth position is Dave Zapienza. Here they come. Potters.
shallow, a minor spin in turn number two underneath the O'Reilly's board. Here's where it's going to get very interesting. Remember, Hirschman, when he had the opportunity, he chose to be to the outside of Ryan Priest. When he's had the opportunity during other cautions, he's stuck to the bottom. Here they go. Let's hear it for Penny Money, Matt Hirschman, your winner of the Richie Evans Memorial 100 as he celebrates on the front of the car. Last year he was declared the winner of this event after rain came after qualifying. This year, Matt Hirschman, 
you get the win by dominating this one right in the reach of the 50-50. I appreciate that you are you're ready to go with that. Um, man, what a performance. That caution, that restart with a couple laps to go. They had you sideways going into turn number one. First of all, congratulations on the win. Second of all, how'd you hang on to that thing? Yeah, I think somebody must have missed their lift point going into one, but uh, we were able to, to dirt track it a little bit and hang on. I never raced dirt, but uh, maybe I should try it sometime. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, great effort here uh, by the team. Uh, we, you know, it's, I've said it, you know, enough times we didn't get off to a very good start. We made some mistakes along the way. Uh, hopefully all things that we can learn from and build from as a team. And uh, like I said, we got back on track and, uh, and knew we'd have some tough competition tonight. I expected Priest to be good. 58 surprised me for sure. Uh, he, he hung right with us there. I mean, uh, there was no holding back there uh, at all after the pit stop. Really, all race, there wasn't no holding back, uh, except when I got the lead a little bit. I think Priest backed off knowing, uh, you know, I had the, the lead until the pit stop. And uh, but besides that, it was all out. And, uh, and like I said, a little little hair-raising moment, but uh, we will take on it and uh, get another win. Yeah, and this is such great competition that comes down to the World Series. And for you to constantly be up here winning these races, it says a lot about this team. And you know, a lot of people probably think this is a big team, but you guys are, you admit it, kind of a smaller team that just continues to work to get better on the team. And to start off, like you said, slow and you get better, it's got to make you feel really good going into the rest of 24. Yes, I mean, it, it basically, it shows that we are human uh, because if we're not on our game, we're not going to win races. And uh, that's something that I need to realize and everybody on this team needs to realize that you can't make mistakes and expect to still win races. And we, we did our share of that. We just had some issues with the car and some other things along the way that we, we just didn't do right. And uh, we need to learn from that, build as a team. And, uh, and like I said, it's a great effort that, you know, that goes into this from at home to here and through the week and to get another championship is like the, the, the you know the cherry on top uh, for us so I uh, appreciate the whole PD Motorsports team our sponsors Florida Connection Collier Trucking uh, Mike Sells Golf .com, and that's a local sponsor here in Daytona and uh, you know just great effort appreciate everybody and uh, thank all the fans for coming out um, it was great speed weeks again the weather was pretty good I know you guys we don't have tomorrow but the track was proactive with that and got the 100 lap in last night for the late model. So always love coming down here, look forward to it every year, and we'll see you next year in 2025. We appreciate you being here, and we congratulate you on the big win in the championship tonight. Richie Evans' daughter is here. She's going to get a picture with you, and then we'll let you go celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Matt Hirschman, your winner and champion. All right, folks, Matt Hirschman has picked the winning 50-50 raffle ticket. If you want to get your tickets out, we'll read that here. And please, we invite you to stick around for the rest of the great racing action as our local stars are going to show you what we do each and every Saturday night here from March until the end of October. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now. And honestly, all around the state of Florida. All right, ladies and gentlemen, getting ready to go. 25 laps of distance, the rest of the race is from here on out. Listen, it's Saturday night, you made it this far. Please stay and support the locals, enjoy some great racing. But these races will have time limits, so we won't be here. And Stephen Davis says, well, I'm glad they called me to pit road because I missed that. Big junk in turn one. Taylor Watson involved. Dylan LeBeau involved. Lopez is involved. Jackson Denton's involved. Gomache's in it. Mesa's in it. Coig's in it. And we'll go red. Red flag is out. Dylan LeBeau in the four sale. This is, you know, he brought this machine out to prove to everybody, hey, we got a good piece, come buy it. That was the one thing that they talked about they couldn't do, and unfortunately, it is rotted up big time. Jeffrey White on the outside, then it's Brenton Pletcher in the 92, Palmer Hag 55, Maria Martins in the 07, Cody Kaufman in the 22, Daytona Dodge, very amount of pace car off the speedway, field into the restart zone, green flag is out, not a lot of space. Here on the 
front straightaway and around is Taylor Watson. And we're gonna have yellow for debris and a spin. But Cody Kaufman's hood is blowing still down the front straightaway. So I don't know if he got a little bit of damage in that incident that sheared the hood pins off, but there you go. Good look at what's going on under the hood. A car over to truck number 22. Every time I say car, they take a dollar out of my paycheck, put it in the Heart to Heart Foundation. All right, they'll pick up the hood. And they'll get it back over the 22. Lee has gone around, driver out of Canada, sitting on pit road. The field gearing up for a restart. Keep around the 55 of Palmer Hag as he looks to keep touch with the 41. Newcomer to the speedway, Felipe Tozo. 
Trying to make something happen. Oh, he's on the gas. He's jumping a little early. Jeffrey White powers up. White the control truck. To see if they It is Jeffrey White back out in front with a lead. Tozo makes the most of his. <laughs> Jeffrey White out ahead of Felipe Tozo, pop back third. And keep on this 79 truck. Davis is going to shove it in there. Three wide again thinks better of it. Davis in the 79, one of the fastest trucks. getting sheared off the double zero. So Jack Hall, whoa, he lost the side too. Boy, that truck's been ripped apart here. Well now, instead of jacked racing, it's just act racing on the side of that machine. Like to get these truckers all their laps in, but they've got to behave. 17 of 25 complete, eight laps to go. It's a heat race to the end. They turn it on to American Auto Pace Car, makes its way off the speedway. And a jump here for 57. Jason's not tired up there, folks. That is the signal for no start. And they throw the yellow on the back straight away. And they do that to try to prevent everybody from just immediately hitting the brakes and dumping each other. They stack up off two, but they did a good job not to wreck each other. So we call that start back. 57, getting his final warning. If he jumps the start again, he will go to the tail. So warning to the 57 against Spotterville needs to be in communication with that truck. The 41 car, he's the control car for the restart. Jack Hall bringing that battered 00 truck. I mean, at this point, almost passes a super stock, which is up next. 17 circuits again complete. Want to try to restart again. That 57 truck, Felipe getting that final warning not to jump a start. Leader on the outside is the 41 of Jeffrey White. Here they come, looking for the restart. White fires this time, much better for the truckers. After getting penalized for failure to listen to race control at the beginning of the race. Jeffrey White's going to try to lead his Palmer Hag, trying to get up there in the mix. Here comes the 55. Contact around second. 
second spot. Here comes Davis on the bottom, picking three wide. He keeps his foot in it. They will be three wide on the back straightaway. They touch, they rub. They get out of shape. Still three wide as Brennan Fletcher goes around the outside. What a move as they shuffle the pitching center. in the 79, looking quick. Does he have time to get by the 55? He's been strong and real in the 41. Davis powers up on the bottom. Palmer had the rookie of the year from last year trying to hold. is climbing out. Jeffrey White gets it done here in New Smyrna. Well, Jeffrey, you had a great race today. You know way, your way around this speedway, big field of trucks, and you showed them all how to get it done. Congratulations on the win and defending your home turf here tonight. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a good piece, and like you said, I know my way around this place, but we haven't actually uh, won a race in the truck in a while. You know, we've, we've been so close multiple times, seconds and thirds, but uh, it was great to get back in victory lane with this 41 truck. I bet you're glad the race wasn't a few laps longer. That's 79. He came from the back of the field past just about everybody. Didn't have enough time to get you. And, hey, you jumped up to Emods. You did some pro late stuff. You're back in the truck, and you're back home in Victor Lane. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Anybody you want to thank? Yeah, uh, Johnny Gonzalez Plumbing, Action Graphics, DeBerry Paint Body, everyone that just lends a hand out and, um, you know, just helps out at the race shop here, everywhere, you know. I, I, we, ain't, we ain't a big, big budget funded machine. Big budget team. Yeah, but we do what we can. Well, and you got it done today. Congratulations. We'll let you get a World Series picture. Jeffrey White gets it done. Pro Truck winner here tonight. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now. The defending track champion back in fifth, driving for David Gould Racing Enterprises. John Lusniak in the 66. Cody Whitley, Scott Riggleman out of New Jersey. Wall Speedway regular. Sean Held. The 25, again, Ricky Roglier Jr. coming down from Darlington, South Carolina. Then the 26, Brandon Johnson is falling to the tail. Green flag set to fly. LKQ Super Strikes, full body, full power. <laughs> on the upstairs lane, going to Subway, and he's going to get swallowed up here. Oh, and we got the five blade Clouser. Presti swaps lanes, he swaps ends and goes around. Trouble in turn four. And yellow. Restart order is posted. 
and it'll be Gage Spears from the outside lane, leading us back to green with one lap complete. Flag is out. There goes the lead for Blake Bowser. Spears will return in the 58. Set for a restart. The OKP Super Sox five down, 15 circuits remain. Green flag back in the air. Blake Bowser. There on the outside groove, can't quite get it to stick. Blake Bowser once again as Spears and Tuminello are now fighting for second. Eugene Tuminello Jr. on the bottom, they're touching the bottom three. Blake Bowser and Tuminello Jr. runs the drive out of South Carolina at the 25 degree bottom. to the out-of-towners battling side-by-sides in fifth. Riggleman out of New Jersey, on the ground of South Carolina. Gage Spears is hit by the Sean Hedman at 12. Randy Johnson started out back. He's starting to make his presence felt.
second heating up to Manella's car. There's no quite state of the bottom. And George Spears is starting to look at it. Pernesti. Well, I thought it was just going to be a little spin, and then Pernesti is going to need a new Camaro nose, and Whitley's got damage to the right rear. 2024. Again, Saturday night's portion has been canceled like pretty much every other outdoor activity in the entire state for tomorrow. Green flag will be set to fly this time by a pace car out of the way. Clouds are on the loud pedal, and he gets the jump. He gets the jump. Johnson up into the top line of car 26. And Spears is clear to second. Spears going to put the pressure on the youngster. Blake Clouser is driving like a veteran up front. Two to go this time by Spears is there. Leon, rookie champion up the front of the field. Oh, the 23 lost the nose. Spears lost the nose and slides up the track. That could be what Blake Clouser needs to hang. Still a couple of corners to go. White flag will come out this time by the one of those Brandon Johnson elected to go to the back. He is trying to challenge Rosen. Rosniak now for the fourth spot. Final time coming out to the trailer. It will be the five. Blake Clouser with Spears trying to reel him in here. Too little too late for George Spears. And the defending champion. Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes, your race winner in car number five, Blake Clouser, the defending champion. He's got no voice left. It's a familiar face in victory lane again, and a pretty good little field to beat today. And then George was right up on your back bumper those last couple laps, and it seems like you've had a crazy day. You lost your voice, but you get the win. Congratulations. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I just knew with the track conditions, with all the rubber on the track, I had to get to the lead early, and I was able to get under Eugene when they got together going into one, and uh, we just I finally got clear off four, and... I just try to set pace, just trying to save that right rear tire and just, yeah, in case we got a late race caution like we did. And I did not want that, but we we're it worked out. Well, you, of course, raced with a 23 all last year. It's pretty much the five of the 23 in victory lane. So, again, with that caution coming out, I'm sure that was the last car you wanted to deal with. George, a veteran. You're a sophomore now, even though you're a champion. Um, still a good race. And, again, you defend your home turf. You win in the World Series. Yeah, for sure. I definitely wanted to come out here and win. And, with that invert of five after we qualified on the pole, I was not looking forward to that. But yeah, I just got really lucky in one and two. And uh, yeah, just it was really awesome to go at it with Eugene for sure. We've been best friends since we were babies. So uh, to finally go at it with him door to door, that's that's really cool. It's all we ever dreamed of. Well, you guys put on a good show tonight. Anybody you want to thank? Yeah, definitely uh, David and Wendy Gould for letting me drive this car. They, they couldn't make it up tonight. I wish they could have, but uh, uh, this is for them and uh, just everybody over there, my mom and dad. My dad works five night, five days a week and comes home in the shop, and we work till 9 or 10 o'clock, just get these things the best they can. My sister, she's she's my biggest supporter, and uh, just everybody else who makes this whole deal happen. Blake, congratulations. Go celebrate. Blake Clouser wins here in the World Series for the LKQ Superstocks. 
We'll get up top, get ready for the Bomber Bees and the Ground Pounders to finish this one off. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now. Jay Simons, son of Jerry Simons. Nicholas Johnny will start ninth in Conover 59. Randy Straley will start 20, yes, will start 10th in the 24. James Straley will start 11th in the 27. The 01 is Tim Nicholas. Lucas Johnson in the 26. And out back, a late addition to the field in the other Mustang. That will be the Black Pony for Shane Satoris. We are set. Nice field of cars. Zach Curtis driving the championship car. Top side to bottom. And Doug Sammy in for now. Gonna hold him off for three wide back straight away. The mallet is the meat in the sandwich right now. Young Jerry Bond on the inside, Sterling on the outside. Whoa, Zach Curtis gets in the Doug White cars battle for top spot. Eric Sharon. Glad to see him here. Glad to see some new faces in the bottom of these. Sharon, a great racer in his own right. Walking about back in the third spot.
you walk by, it will be staring at you. It will follow you. The eyes. Watch the eyes of the championship banner when you leave here. The Frank Bud. Flying out with 12 complete, eight to go. As Randy Straley lights him up in turn three and four. A little, he got the mallet, all of it. 80 of Veltman, black flag. In the wrong lane, not listening to race control. And the 27, black flag needs to be at the tail of the field. All right, timeout has been completed. So here we go, going back to green this time by. Green flag back in the air. Here they come to already three more. From the 23, is that Curtis? And the white pony's getting wound up. He's hot to trot on the outside of Eric Sharone. The Sharone with the power down the back straightaway. The concerns teammate in the with a 59 car. This time by side by side for the lead seat. that time. Curtis goes it sideways into one. Sammy upstairs trying to get that momentum. It's a little bit loose. This time by Curtis going to fall back. Oh, 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 little bumper tag. Sammy able to get on the gas. Is that Curtis over one tap? Six to go. Your leader, Zachary Curtis, coming to five laps to go. Frank in the I don't think he was thinking he'd have to worry about the 04 Doug Samuel tonight. Samuel has stand out in the Super Stocks the last couple of years in other competitions. Sammy starting to call a couple of car lanes back. 27 Australia to the pits. Battle heating up for third. Sharon has it. Say once. Wants that pit spot back from the 59 machine. Nicholas Jolly trying to hang on to it. Welcome in the 80. Kicks it away that time. Look at Ben Say still looking for third. Be better in the corners than that crown big. Three to go for the 23. Side by side for fifth as Feltman dives down the bottom of the racetrack. Feltman gets the run, gets by, and here comes Chuck Rush in the canine. Zach Curtis, he, he looks for the white flag. Best battle on the track, Chuck Rush and the Johnny Machine back there in turn three. White flag right the 23 Machine, the leg of the down, down the back straight away. Tough break for the 59 Nicholas Johnny getting shuffled back here late in the going. We're coming out of turn number four. Zachary Curtis will go to Bomber B victory lane here in the
It was Holly's idea. I was at Bradington doing top fuel stuff, and she's like, you want to race? I said, no. So she's like, let's put Zach Curtis in the car. I was like, let's do it. And then we helped uh, Then we helped Lindsay Samian and Doug Samian today. We put a new radiator in there. Our cars went one and two today, dude. We can't be any prouder. Well, it's a good day for you guys, and we'll let you celebrate with your driver here in a minute. All right, Zachary Curtis finishing up with the folks from Floyd Racing. Jamie Skinner in to congratulate. And we'll work our way down. Well, Zachary, we've talked to you a bunch here in Victory Lane, and I guess when the phone rings and it's a championship car during the World Series, you can't say no, right? Congratulations on the win. Thank you, yeah. Uh, I was going to drive one of my new cars and bring it out here, and uh, Frank and Holly called me. I'm very thankful for them uh, to ask me to drive this thing. So. I said I would, and uh, we put it in victory lane here tonight. You had to have a lot of fun racing with Doug Sammy in there. You guys were the class of the field, and you raced each other pretty clean. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty sad that we're racing these bomber bees, and we're running cleaner than late model guys and them uh, modified guys. We know how to we know how to get a show done. It's sad that there's only a few people left, but thanks to the fans that did stay, we appreciate you guys. Well, listen, uh, the people on floor racing every year when the bombers race, they love it. So you guys put on a good show for them. We thank you for being here. Oh yeah, we thank you. Uh, I got to thank again Frank and Holly at uh, Bougie Motorsports for letting me drive this piece. Uh, my girlfriend, my father-in-law, my dad, Jamie Skinner for helping me out all weekend. Anything I needed, he's he's the man to go to. So couldn't do it without all these people. Well, we'll let you get some pictures here. Zach Curtis, your race winner in the Bomber Bees, and we got one final event. So pictures down here in Victory Lane. And then we'll finish this thing off. 20 laps for the Florida Southern Ground Pounders. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now. Cut number 22. Eddie Freeman also out there in the 61. And I believe Art Kunzman was hopeful to make the call as well, but I think that car broke trying to come out for the parade laps earlier. So... We are to our final race of the night. A very interesting mix. The Florida Southern Ground Pounders, a vintage division, obviously, as you can see. A mix of sportsmen, open wheel modifieds, and stock cars about to take the green. Our final event of this year's World Series, vintage style. Green is out. They will take off on turn two. This, they will take off on turn two, squarely. Again, club rules dictate that they wait till turn two to get on the hammer. And they drop the hammer in their way. Ron D'Alessandro in the X9 gets the jump on the 45 of Jonathan Modi. Top half
listen, I encourage you to come out and have some fun. to pit road and that'll bring out the yellow and erase the lead for Ron Alessandro. Kind of runs this show, if you will. Looking to get a victory here. around some of the slower traffic. Burnside in second. finish there for the Florida Southern Ground Pounders. A job well done by these guys. One yellow for the Big story, Ron D'Alessandro going out on the restart, opening the door for Toby Smith to become our final winner of the 2024 World Series. Mechanic double checkers. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner, Toby Smith in car number 44. He'll soak it in as the final man to win during this year's World Series. Toby, congratulations, man. You get to go home tonight as the final winner of this year's World Series. I know you wanted to race there with Ron D'Alessandro when that caution came out. His car had an issue, and you end up a winner. Congratulations. I know it. I wanted so bad to race with Ron, try to run with him. We're good buddies. It, that's what I'm here for. Race with a bunch of buddies, put on a show for the fans, get as many of these old cars out here that we can get. 
Well, Toby, I know you're one of the uh, the good minds behind this division. You help get this division here. You work on a lot of these race cars. It's great to see some new cars come out to play and a good car count for you guys to uh, to start the ground pounder season. Yes, I'm sorry we got three more new cars sitting out there. Just had new car problems. They just weren't able to make it. But they'll be ready for March when we start up our season. Well, these cars are awesome to look at, and you guys put on a good race. We thank you for coming out here, being part of the World Series. You know it's a long day with the reunion out there, the last race of the night, but it's got to be all worth it to win here at the World Series. Yes, it is. It's been a few years. I think it's been five years since I've won at Speed Weeks. Well, Toby, thank you so much for being here. Do you have anybody you'd like to thank? No, all the guys that helped me, Brandon Blevins, Scott Blevins, all the guys in the club, Art Koontzman, just all the guys, Rudy, my wife, Scott Fobe, Scott Cutter. The ground pounders are getting better. We're getting better, we're getting faster. It's gonna be a pretty good season. Well, I think you're right, Toby, congratulations. Toby Smith, our race winner and final World Series winner, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to say it, but that's it. The World Series is a wrap. Thank you all so much. We appreciate you being here. Please get home safe. I wish we were running tomorrow, but we're not gonna be able to with the weather forecast. And, uh, yeah, thank you all so much. On behalf of myself, everybody here at the New Smyrna Speedway, Rusty, Holly, Andrew Hart, Jane Hart, Robert Hart, everybody here, we thank you so much for being part of the World Series. My name is Ryan Stevens. We'll talk to you guys in March when we start our regular season. We hope to see you then. Please get home safe. Enjoy the Daytona 500 if you're heading there. And we'll see you at the next race. You know, our goal is to give the customer what they want, when they want it, at the price they want to pay, and then follow it up with just the absolute best customer service. You can find the same part at 100 different places, but if you find it for less, we're going to match it, and we're going to guarantee it. We're going to ship the product same day. We are all about the customer, period. And when you have a question, the associate you're talking to, he's got a car in his garage that he's working on. So when you're talking to Jags, you're talking right to the shop.